Awesome. Totally awesome. Hey, I'm Rick Salmon. It's day three of my exploration here in Myanmar. This has been a fantastic, I mean a truly fantastic photographic and personal experience. Right now, I'm in a place called Bagan. In this area, they have more than 3,000 temples. Many of these temples are more than 1,000 years old. So it's really cool to be here. I hope you can make it here someday. I was here yesterday, I came back because I really want to tell you about something very important. It's important to envision the end result when you're shooting <clears throat> because our cameras see way more than what our eyes see. Our eyes have a dynamic range of about 13 f-stops. Digital cameras can see maybe five or six f-stops. Yes, we can pull a lot out of the shadows and tone down the highlights, but the big thing is it's important to remember the difference between what we see and what our cameras see. So talk about scene. Behind me, this is very impressive. This is a painting, again, a thousand years old of this reclining Buddha. On this wall, we have a sitting Buddha with two nuns behind. We have a gold Buddha down the end, and we have a beautiful archway down the end, which is totally overexposed and blown out. That's blown out, you can't see into the shadows because of the contrast range. S standing here now, I can see most of this, but I envision the end result, I envision that I need, and if you were here, you would need HDR, high dynamic range photography, to capture the scene. So, here's what I did yesterday. I put my Canon 5D Mark III on a tripod with my Canon 14 millimeter lens. Now I needed that 14 millimeter lens to capture this very wide view. Yes, there's going to be some distortion in that, but I could go to Edit Transform in Photoshop and I can fix it up very quickly and very easily. Now I'm going to set my aperture at f8 so I get a lot of depth of field. That 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter lens does have a lot of depth of field. By the way, that's one of my favorite interior lens. I think you're really gonna like it. So when it comes to exposure, most people when it comes to HDR, zero exposure setting, plus two and minus two. I know from experience, deep shadows, the bright highlights in the back, I know I'm gonna have to take seven stops. But I'm not gonna start at the zero exposure compensation setting because that little area there in the back, for me, if it's blown out, defeats the whole purpose of HDR. So I'm gonna start at what is normally the zero exposure compensation setting. I'm gonna start at minus two. So I'm gonna get way more underexposed pictures than I am gonna get overexposed pictures. Now, what I'm gonna do with those seven pictures, I'm gonna bring them into Photomatix. So you could use Nick HDR FX Pro too. Both great programs, I use them all the time. Once the pictures are in there, what I do is I don't do too much. I'm gonna adjust my white point, the highlights, and the black point slider, your highlights and shadows. Those are the two main things I do. If I think I'm gonna get any halos, I'll use light smoothing. So again, I'm gonna go into Photomatix, black point, white point, and maybe play around with the light smoothing, the lighting adjustment features. That's my digital negative. I'm, I'm not gonna do any more there. You can do a lot more. You can play around with micro contrast, saturation, luminance, all that stuff. From there, I'm gonna take that digital negative, I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. In Photoshop, I maybe do a little burning, a little dodging, but I really love using the Nick filters. Nick has a great filter in Color Effects Pro called Detail Extractor. <laughs> when they came out with that, I said, what you wanna do is you wanna name that HDR simulator because it brings out so much from the details. The other thing I like, really like is tonal contrast. So in Nick, I use the detail extractor, I use tonal contrast to really create my dynamic images. I'll go back into Photoshop, use a little burning and dodging, and look at the picture I got yesterday. Yes, it took a little bit of time, but I would have missed this shot. You'd miss a shot like this if you didn't envision the end result. So remember, wherever you go, have a lot of fun, and I hope you make it to Myanmar someday. Always envision the end result. And speaking of that, there's another great spot down there. I envision the end result. I'm going to check it out. I'll catch you later. Take a look at the shot again.